Hi friends, in this video, let me speak about what exactly is blogging. And we'll be exploring in this particular module, how do you make an entire blog using an AI tool? Let's get started. So let's understand the first fundamental question of what is blogging or how does blogging term even arrived? So many of you might not know, but the blogging comes from two words, which is called as web plus log. Both of them became a blog. In simple words, anywhere on the internet, wherever your content is in logical order, is called a blog. Let's go a little deeper. So if you see, what is blogging? Blogging is a form of online writing or content creation. It typically involves regularly posting relevant articles for your audiences. And articles can be in a form of opinions, information, news, whatever you call it, on a particular portal or on a website for yourself. In fact, bloggers often cover specific topics or niche. Niche means a specific genre which you specialize in and you've got deep knowledge about it. For example, a niche can be into travel, technology, lifestyle, finance, digital marketing. No matter which your field basically you are expert in, that is a niche. And finding a niche also allows, you know, uh, individuals or businesses to share the expertise, experience or insights with a specific audience. For instance, if I'm very enthusiastic about AI tools, I'll mostly go ahead and find out, you know, what are the different AI tools in the market? What are they doing, right? And I would probably, probably go to a blog to understand reviews, ratings, what is the use case of it, etc., etc., etc. So if you see, blogging is an art of writing specific articles on a specific niche to build authority or to build a brand. Now, you see, what can blogging include? Blogging doesn't necessarily be, mean to be in text format. Blogging can be done via images, via videos. Some people also call this video blogs as vlogs, or for that matter, even audio, right? So it can be any format that you want to choose, and that can basically become your blog. In fact, uh, blogging facilitates interaction through multiple things like comments, you know, um, allowing you to engage with your, allowing people to engage with your content. Okay. And that's the only way people can talk to you. You can also share a snippet of the blog on social media. People can also comment or share your content over there. But typically in a blog website, usually you have comments at the bottom. And typically blogging can be anything. It can be a hobby. It can be a platform to express personal expressions. Or it can be a, it can also be a way to generate income. For example, a lot of mother bloggers blog about babies, blog about children, etc., 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 and they need a lot of passive income through that. So successful blogging often requires consistency. You need to be blogging regularly. You can just blog once and then forget it. Number two, it requires quality content because if you do not have enough qualitative content with you, then it won't really help you out. Number three, it also helps you to understand the target audience very well. You need to understand your TG, understand, you know, their persona, understand what they exactly do. So that's very, very important. So this is basically what blogging is all about. Now, let's understand a little specific. Let's also go a little deeper in understanding how to write a blog. And how do you even start in this journey of blogging? The first thing first, you need to choose a topic that you're extremely, extremely passionate about. For example, I'm very passionate about, you know, uh, finding uh, ways that children can learn or parenting, for example. That's what my topic is. I'm very passionate about parenting. So what I'll do, I'll go out there, I'll read different blogs, look at different videos, gather relevant articles from the internet. Post which, I will probably have to structure my content which means that I need to write a catchy title, 
body copy have a hook at the start so people can read it structure the blog in a way that it looks like a movie and write a compelling article with a fantastic conclusion and summary and also maybe a call to action towards the end asking people to take any advisory services or maybe you know um share this content with somebody else right it can be easy for that matter but that's your structuring a blog we'll look at in detail how to structure blogs in our future videos so don't worry about it finally if you decide the structure you're going to craft your blog you're going to start writing your blog you will be going out there and putting that thought of yours into words the idea behind this blog is to offer valuable insights to your readers and also only writing will not help you to get your blogs promoted you need to also perform what we call as seo or also what we call as search engine optimization in simple words seo basically helps you out to you know rank your blog on top of google searches and kind of help you out to you know get there finally you should also proofread your blog for errors so proofread them see it um see basically you know if there are any grammatical issues sentence construction issues so and do not proofread it immediately maybe first read the blog and then proofread it and finally you need also you need to also include what we call this call to action you need to have enough cta a call to action for yourself and lastly you need to promote your blog on social media and also relevant platforms for yourself so this is basically how you write a blog in simple words so um i would recommend that you should start in this journey and start writing a blog for yourself and then you're going to see the entire blog structure using ai very soon now since we're talking about structure let's go in detail about how should the structure of a blog actually be we first start with the title title should be catchy it should be informative it should be relevant to the content <coughs> in fact this is the most important part of a blog even more important than a body copy the reason being is if your title is bad people will not click on the blog and come to your website if title is good people will actually click and come to your blog next is introduction you need to ensure that your introduction is engaging and it grabs the attention of the user and you need to also give a preview of the topic of letting user know that what is he getting into what is he going to read in the next one or two minutes post which you need to this you need to write down what's what we post which you need to write down what we call as a body copy a body copy is the main part of a blog which is divided into multiple paragraph and each paragraph contains specific aspect or idea okay. and if you want to make your body copy more readable you can also put it in the subheadings also you might use some media some images and finally you should put a conclusion and a call to action also typically typically in a blog also typically in a blog we also have what we call as author bio author bio basically means a little introduction about the author who he is what's his experience what has he been doing etc 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 post which you have a comment section where people can leave their comments and also in some blogs there are elements where i can also put seo elements such as descriptions keywords tags which will ultimately help me to get visibility so that's how you basically structure your blogs and finally there are also different types of blogs so usually i mean you can put blogs in any topic fashion travel media finance but if i have to group the blogs i'll group the blogs into five parts the first one being image centric blogs which is rather than putting text i can put images such as photography art design you know just to keep it visually appealing and some people look at visuals because today most of us are visual learners next i can also do blogs and videos which is primarily featuring video content such as i do interviews tutorials reviews i do a uh, storytelling for instance you must have seen uh, beer biceps right a very famous youtube channel 
Now he is doing a video blog. Right? And suppose if he just rips off the, the video and just puts it into audio, that becomes a podcast. Right? So you just have a podcast blog as well. And some blogs, they report news. They report cricket. They report sports. So they are called news blogs, wherein you are reporting around current events, offering analysis and opinions. And you can also run blogs on that particular fashion as well. And, but the most common blogging technique is text-centric blogs, which where you rely on text, covering topics, opinions, tutorials, experiences, what do you call it? So that is different, different types of blogs for you and to help you understand how do you start a blogging journey. So just to summarize, we first saw what is blogging. It's a form of technique to write opinions, a specific niche. Then we basically saw, you know, how to um, structure your blogs, have title, body copy, conclusion, CDA, and finally, you know, different types of blogs, such as image, video, news, podcast, and text. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.